Daddy said we have to play outside. He doesn't want any more blood on the floor. <laughs> All right, guys, today I am back over at the Toys R Us in Canton, Ohio, which has now been taken over by the Spirit Halloween. You can see we got the signs up on the front, the pictures in the windows, sign up on the side. However, the sign out front, amazingly, still says Toys R Us. There it is, the giant Toys R Us sign out front here. When they were setting this up, the guy told me that they were probably going to put a big sign over top of that, which... I'm really surprised they didn't do that. Maybe they still will. I don't know. It's only August. But, uh, but yeah, here's the store back here. Let's go on in and see what all they have set up in this one. I waited a little while to come down to this one because when I filmed the one that was in a JCPenney's over at New Philly, they didn't have any of the anima animatronics set up. And that's really what I want to see. So let's go in here and take a look around. They got that blocked off. This is where the carts used to be. Both sides are blocked off. All right, here we go. Hi, how you doing? Look at that. <laughs> All right, guys, look at this. The first thing is Bubba. Watch this, he'll come shooting out. I don't know if he's waiting for me to walk by. Let's see, here we go. Ah, there he is. <laughs> okay, so we got the Reaper's Wharf, like we saw over at uh, over at the Pennies there in New Philly. Look at the giant spider over here. <laughs> and we got a, a skeleton being bit by the uh, by the shark bones or whatever you call it. This has got to be another animatronic over here. Let's, oh, I see. Step here. Let's go over here. Okay, so we're going to step right here. The spider must be part of the animatronic. Let's find this out here. I, oh, God, it is. <laughs> Although he wasn't able to, like, jump out of the hole. Okay, whoa, he heard me. Got another one here. Step here to look over. And what's... I don't see anything happening with this one. Let's try this one here. Scarecrow, and he's waiting for us to step. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, all right, we got to figure out what this one is, though. Something was supposed to happen over here. Okay, I see. Whatever it is, it's not plugged in at the moment. We'll come back to that one. All right, look at this guy here. I saw in another video this one and the mouth was moving. I don't know if this little girl is an animatronic. She's pretty creepy. Ooh, look at the ah! <laughs> okay, wait, we gotta step here, so maybe that goes to the girl. It must just be that guy, although he's like running constantly. All right, let's check this one out. Oh, I see, he's moving like a body sack. That's pretty creepy. Look at this one over here. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> All right, let me get a big shot of the boat here. This one looks a little bit... No, I guess it is the same thing as over there at uh, the JCPenney's. Although, look up here. We got the skeleton up here hoisting up the fish bones. <laughs> that one, that, I don't think that was set up with the other one. All right, here we go. I like the porthole. This one's even clearer. The other one, I think, was like frosted or something. You couldn't see very well through it. 
this. This is something I didn't film any other store. Experimental Eddie. I wonder if he's set up in here somewhere. I think you can watch this video online too. Alright, let's go see what else we can find in here. Here's a ton of animatronics here. Look at this, Mr. Toots. That is hilarious. Graveyard Ghoul, Experimental Eddie. Yeah, that's the one we just saw in the video right there. Graveyard Ghoul. Ooh, Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. That's pretty cool. Sitting Scare Clown. Uh, Scarecrow, that's the one that scared me up there by the boat. Witch. Creepy Crimson Girl on a Swing. Let's look at these over here. Wait, wait, look at these. All right, come on. Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay, let's see. We got creepy towering clown. Uh, I thought I saw that one set up, but maybe not. We'll keep looking around. Roaming creepy bear. Oh, that's the girl from on the boat. Ghostly tricycle. Hugs the clown. Waving Wally. <laughs> There's always Wallys everywhere. Wally is everywhere. Crawling dead. Look at this one. I like that one. Feed the clown game. Abandon Annie. There's the corpse that was swinging up there. I like this one too, empty soul girl on a swing. Okay, here we got some setup over here. I wonder if he gets scary. I mean, he's scary enough as it is. Here we, oh, step here. There's only one difference between myself and the Undertaker. They take care of each other, <laughs> and I make sure they never run out of court. What is that, fingers in the glass? <laughs> Ooh. Daddy said we have to play outside. He doesn't want any more blood on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's pretty creepy. All right. What is she gonna do? <laughs> Well, I can't get her to do anything, but it looks like... Look how her mouth is jagged. Apparently it's supposed to pop... Oh, there it goes! <laughs> that is pretty creepy. If I was a kid coming through a haunted house, that would scare the crap out of me. All of these would. Okay, Spirit Aquarium. I think they called it something different at the one in uh, New Philly. But, wait a minute, is this? Ooh, yeah, this is an animatronic. Will it do something? A lot of these you have to step on the mat, and some of them are, uh, like, motion activated. I guess not. That would be a pretty creepy one, though. It looks like his head like pops out from behind the headstone. All right, let's go in here. They got fog in this one. We got the tentacles. That's the sound that means the shark's coming. Where is it? Okay, wait a minute. All right, let's do this again. See, here's the thing, when you walk in there, you trip it, but the shark comes too fast in this one where you don't see it. All right, here we go. Okay, you hear it? So we tripped it. Oh, there's a shark going by in this one. Look at these. Look at these guys. That's like a pike. Okay, the shark should be coming out of here in any minute. What? All right, we 
great. It's really, it's starting over here. All right, there goes the shark. Yeah, there we go. It took a minute for it to come back around once I tripped it. Where's the fog coming from? I don't know how they have it set up in here, but the fog is like spraying you right in the face. <laughs> All right, let's keep moving. Love these. Oh, press here. Oh look, his eyes light up. And Jason. Okay. Let's see what else we got in here. All the costumes that, wait a minute, I see a Mr. Stay Puffed. Look at this. Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. Michael Myers. Let's go around this side here. I think this is one of the creepiest masks in here, actually. It's like that Emmett Kelly. That's really creepy. Okay, apparently that's all of the animatronics. Yeah, apparently we got all the animatronics. They're on, all on this side here and then up on the ship. Um, everything else is just like the regular costumes like we saw over there at JCPenney's, but I do want to take a walk around and see if there's anything that they do have in here that they didn't over there. Oh, look at this. Pose and Stay Skeleton. They got a lot of these uh, life, almost life-size skeletons. That's not bad either. Look at this. That's 50 bucks. These usually are about 100 bucks. People take those life-size skeletons and then they use this stuff called, uh, I think it's called Great Stuff. It comes in like a spray can and it, it foams. You spray it out, it's real sticky and it foams. And they spray it all over those skeletons to make it like a corroded body. I used to do all kinds of... Uh, Halloween props. I'd make them at home. Yeah, it looks like they have uh, pretty much the same kind of costumes in each of these Halloween, or I mean in each of these uh, spirits. Although I remember last year seeing different props that, uh, that were kind of rare. Like you, they hadn't been out for a while. Like Halloween H2O and, uh, and stuff like that. Some of those are really hard to find nowadays. Look at this, Halloween coffee mug. The many faces of Michael Myers. <laughs> That's hilarious. I actually have a Chucky coffee mug that is bigger than that, actually, it's huge. Oh look, I missed this one. Pennywise. We all float down here. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't think I had seen this one in the other store. Oh my god, look! <laughs> a bull with a moving mat, moving mouth. Yeah, I don't think I had seen this one in the other store. Because they were pretty much still setting up though, when I was filming over there. So there was, I think, a lot of things that weren't out yet. It was pig. So many of these are so creepy. All right, now look at these Halloween masks here, these Michael Myers. This is supposed to be based on the first one, which looks pretty good, but it's a little bit too clean. I don't know. I mean, I think I like it better than the Halloween 2. But this one you could actually get and then kind of rough up a little bit. This mask, if you look close, you can see it was based on, well, it was actually they actually used a real Captain Kirk mask to make this one for the original movie. And then there was all kinds of copyright issues, so they had to change them up every time they made a movie. That's why you see like these slight differences. Okay, so let me point this stuff out to you guys. This, as I showed you when we first came in, was the, uh, the Toys R Us. So if you look at the floor, you can see where there were, these were checkouts. These were checkouts right here. All these markings on the floor are where the uh, the aisles, like the shelves were. And this, yeah, these were all checkouts right here. It's funny because while I'm into looking at all the Halloween stuff around in here, I didn't even think about that. But when you stop and you look past all the Halloween stuff, 
that's when you can see the Toys R Us. Even though I just filmed in here recently, it's still difficult to see because they got the walls built up. So they're only using a portion of the store. But like right over here is where the customer service would have been. And if you watch my other videos, um, you can see where like right down to where they were setting this up, the customer service sign was still hanging up. So this would have been customer service up here. Yeah, you can still see the outline of where like the kiosk or whatever you call it would have been. <laughs> Scared the crap out of me again. All this up here would have been the checkouts. You would have seen the checkout lane lights right up here. Yellow and blue checkouts up here. But you can see on the walls up here where they had uh, the shelves connected and everything. If we step over here for a second, you can kind of see through there where uh, the rest of Toys R Us is. In fact, I think that blue thing you see right there is the restroom sign. <laughs> see you later, shark bones. All right, I'll see you guys later. Peace.